Well, St. Louis Archbishop announced his plan for merging parishes. He says his decision to consolidate, even close some churches, comes after two years of gathering data and feedback from thousands of local Catholics. Fox News' Laura Simon shows the impact. Mass at St. Raphael's felt a little different on Sunday morning. Tom McGee has been a parishioner here since 1994. We're sorry we're losing Father Mayo, but we understand Father Molini, I believe, is coming. And by all counts, he's a very good uh, steward and will be an excellent pastor for our parishes. Father John Mayo making that announcement at the end of Mass Saturday and Sunday. He's been at St. Raphael's for five years and a priest for 14. August 1st will be his last Mass as he's being transferred to the seminary in Shrewsbury. People have been very generous in coming up and just thanking me for, for my time here. There's no shortage of historic Catholic churches around St. Louis, but the Archdiocese does have a shortage of priests. 41% are over the age of 70. And because of the restructuring and all things new, many pastors and priests will now be doing double duty. The soon-to-be new pastor at St. Raphael's will also serve at St. Gabriel's. And he's been over here already. He, he's helped out with school confessions a couple of times, so, so he's already familiar, a little familiar with the parish. In addition to the new priest assignments over the weekend, Archbishop Mitchell Rosansky made the announcement the Archdiocese of St. Louis will be reshaped from 178 parishes into 134. 35 will close and merge into neighboring parishes. 15 will be consolidated to create five new ones. There will also be one new parish for the Spanish-speaking community in St. Charles County. Without these changes, we predict that we will have more parishes than diocesan priests by 2025. Meantime, Father Mayo hopes to inspire the next generation of church leaders in his new role. It's a weighty responsibility, and it's really led me to just really trust in the Lord even more. There are also fewer Catholics in St. Louis, dipping below a half million for the first time since the 1960s. And according to statistics from the Archdiocese, as many as 5,000 Catholics don't go back to church after high school or college every year. And mass attendance is 25% below pre-COVID levels. You know, I think it's part of it is we have to put some take some responsibility that we have to engage the younger people. Parishioners can expect changes to start this summer and continue through 2026. Decisions to Catholic parish school closures or consolidations are expected this fall. There is a two-week time frame to submit an appeal. It must be handwritten and mailed to the Archbishop by June 12th. In St. Louis Hills, Laura Simon, News 11.